Hi, I'm Lynn Bradbury. I'm the Head of Mathematics at Park Lane Academy. GCSE Maths is compulsory, but it also supports the study of other subjects like Physics, Biology, Chemistry, IT and Business Studies, amongst other subjects as well. But it also provides a foundation for understanding the world. At Key Stage 4, students will build on the knowledge and skills developed, developing their fluency, their reasoning and competency, as well as demonstrating their knowledge and understanding. It's important they be able to explain and analyse and evaluate their judgments. They will explore number, algebra, geometry, ratio, statistics and probability. This is an example of the scheme of work at the higher tier. The higher tier covers the grades 9 to 5. As you can see, each topic builds on the next and is a range of assessment opportunities building up to a full mock in year 11. There is a similar um, opportunity at foundation. Foundation covers the grades 1 to 5. Again, the skills build up developing as they go along and there's also a range of assessment opportunities. The exam board we will use is Edexcel and the exam consists of three papers. Each paper is one hour 30 minutes long. Two of these papers allow the use of a calculator and the other paper does not. It's assessed, as I mentioned before, in a tiered papers, meaning that some students will sit sit the foundation exams and some will sit the higher exams. But at both tier, it will still allow students to access a grade five. Students will learn by developing and deepening their knowledge and understanding before learning to develop how to select and apply the different mathematical techniques in everyday and real world situations. They will learn problem solving strategies and how to reason mathematically, drawing their own conclusions. They'll learn how to interpret and communicate mathematical information in a variety of forms. And they'll also make connections between different mathematical concepts. Within lesson time, they will retrieve prior knowledge, develop their understanding and knowledge through a variety of activities, and then develop resilience through the completion of an independent task. Out of lesson time, students will be asked to complete exam style questions, recap prior learning or complete an activity on MassWatch, which is a website that we subs subscribe to. Where could it take me? Well, every student will require maths to continue in a field of higher study. Some six forms in universities may require a grade five or above. And if you wish to study A level maths, you will need at least a grade seven. Students can, wishing to pursue a mathematical career can choose from a field of accountancy to investment banking or they might lead them into looking at careers in computing, engineering sciences, research, whether it be statistics or research sciences. But it also lends itself to a lot of other careers such as design, building and architecture, as well as medicine, politics, teaching, and even running your own business. The reality is a good GCSE in mathematics is certain to make a positive difference to any student's future career, future study and employment options. If you want any more information, then contact the website below, which is Pearson um, and Edexcel. Thank you very much.